Hello and welcome to the session. In this session, we will learn about pyramids. Now you must have heard or seen the Egyptian pyramids, one of the seven wonders of the world. How does it appear? It has a rectangular base and the lateral faces are the triangles. And these lateral faces are joined at a single point which is called apex. So we can write a pyramid is a polyhedron that has One base and the lateral faces are triangles. That are joined at a single point. called the apex. Now let us discuss the types of pyramids. Now triangular pyramid rectangular pyramid Pentagonal pyramid and so on are some types of pyramids. That is, if this is a triangle, then that pyramid is called a triangular pyramid. And if base is a rectangle, then that pyramid is called a rectangular pyramid. And if base is a pentagon, then that pyramid is called a pentagonal pyramid. And similarly, if the base is a square, then we have a square pyramid. If the base is a hexagon, then we have a hexagonal pyramid and so on. Also, in a pyramid, the number of lateral faces, that is the number of triangles, depends on the number of edges of the base. Now in the triangular pyramid you can see that the number of edges of the base which is a triangle is 3 so in a triangular pyramid, the number of lateral faces is 3. And in a rectangular pyramid, the number of lateral faces is 4. Then in a pentagonal pyramid, the number of lateral faces is 5 and so on. Now let us see the steps to draw a pyramid. Now suppose we want to draw a triangular pyramid.
In the first step, we will draw a triangle as the base and take a point outside the triangle as the apex. So we have drawn a triangle as a base and we have taken a point outside the triangle as the apex. Now in the next step, connect the vertices of the triangle by the apex. So we have connected the vertices of the triangle by the apex and we get three triangles as the lateral faces and the hidden lines must be dashed lines. In the same way we can draw the other types of pyramids also. Now let us see how to find the surface area of a pyramid. Now we know that the parts of the pyramid are base, lateral faces and the vertex that is apex. As here you can see, in this triangle pyramid, the base is the triangle BDC and triangle ABD, triangle ACD, and triangle ABC are the lateral faces of this triangle pyramid and A is the vertex that is the apex. Now to find the surface area we must know the altitudes of each of the lateral faces. These are called the slant height of the pyramid. We can find the surface area of a pyramid by net and for this our first step is to draw the net of the pyramid. Now let us see one example and that is Joe has a lamp made of crystal in the shape of a square pyramid with slant height 8 cm and square base with side 5 cm. How much waste paper is required to cover the lamp? Now here we have to find that how much waste paper is required to cover the lamp. For this we have to find the surface area of the lamp so that we can find how much waste paper is required to cover the lamp. Now here this lamp is given to us which is in the shape of square pyramid. Now we have drawn a net in which first of all we have drawn a square base then at each edge we have drawn the lateral faces in this manner. Now surface area of the pyramid will be the sum of the areas of all the faces that is area of the base plus the areas of the lateral faces that is the triangles. Now area of the square base will be equal to side into side which is equal to 5 centimeters into 5 centimeters which is equal to 25 centimeters square. 
Now we will find the area of the triangles by the formula half into base into height. So the area of each triangle is equal to half into base which is 5 centimeters into height which is 8 centimeters. Now 2 into 4 is 8 and 5 into 4 is 20. So this is equal to 20 centimeter square. Now here the number of lateral faces that is the number of triangles is 1, 2, 3 and 4. So the total area of four triangles will be equal to area of one triangle that is 20 into 4 which is equal to 80 centimeter square. Now the surface area of the pyramid is equal to area of the base plus areas of the lateral faces. So the surface area of the pyramid will be equal to area of the square base which is equal to 25 centimeter square plus area of the lateral faces which is equal to 80 centimeter square so this is equal to 25 centimeter square plus 80 centimeter square which is equal to 105 centimeter square hence 105 centimeter square of glazed paper is required to fully cover the lamp. In this manner we can find the surface area of any type of pyramid if we know the dimensions of the base and the slant height. And the surface area of the pyramid will be equal to area of the base plus some of the areas of the neutral faces. So in this session you have learnt about pyramids and surface area of pyramids. And this completes our session. Hope you all have enjoyed the session.